Провели сейчас. Вам отправим заклад. Да, вот как это.
Bill Gerstenmeyer, Associate Administrator for Human Spaceflight. Uh, Bill, first uh, Soyuz manned launch of the year is at hand, and the first rocket of the year is here at the pad at Mycador. Uh, your thoughts uh, as this new crew uh, prepares for a launch and a very complex six months in space? You know, again, it's exciting to be here, to get to see the rocket roll out, uh, to see the crews working on the rocket, getting ready for the first launch this year. And, and I, I look at the upcoming period on Space Station, and boy, it's a dynamic time with the Soyuz launch and the Progress launch and uh, the SpaceX launch and then the orbital launch. So this next couple of months will be extremely busy. The crew's ready to go. It's exciting to see uh, all the teams come together to get ready to support this activity. How, uh, how complicated is this year going to be in terms of uh, the visiting vehicles, uh, you have a final flight of the European Automated Transfer Vehicle on tap. As this crew prepares to join the three already on board, uh, it's going to be a very dynamic period, isn't it? Yeah, it's a tremendously dynamic period with the launches coming up and all the activities. What's neat again is seeing the, the variety of spacecraft that go to the space station to see the Soyuz and the Progress and the, the Dragon and the uh, Antares and Cygnus and then uh, the ATV coming later this year. Just a tremendously dynamic time. But what's also cool is they're really carrying a lot of exciting research to space stations. So this is really, again, it's all about utilizing space, utilizing the microgravity environment. All these vehicles, all these launches, and then the crews support all that activity. Mike Fossum, Deputy Director of Flight Crew Operations uh, for the ISS here in Baikonur. Mike, uh, first launch of the year is at hand. Soyuz behind you. The crew obviously well trained. How are Steve and Oleg and Sasha ready uh, in terms of their preparations on the eve of launch? Oh, well, it, for them it's been a two and a half year road to get here, plus all of the years ahead of that and the, and the other experience that they had. They were assigned two and a half years ago. They've been traveling around the globe, about half of it out of the United States to other countries to prepare. Finally, they're through their final exams. They're down here in the two week quarantine period. Uh, they're excited as we get closer and closer. Every, the world to them seems to pick up speed and everything's funneling down to this time coming to the launch pad. You know, uh, Steve and um uh, Alexander Skvortsov, uh, they're veterans, obviously. Uh, Oleg Artemaya, for him, he has lived and breathed space in his entire life. How, how uh, dynamic is this uh, period ahead for them, and how well-skilled are they to tackle the challenge? Well, they've, they've been through the ringer. They've been through all of the, all of the preparation steps. Oleg's excited, of course. He's really excited because he's stepping into something unknown. Uh, for the other guys, they, they've been here before, maybe not to this launch pad, but they, they, they know what to expect. Uh, for me, having flown with uh, uh, new guys, rookies, it's, it's really exciting to share that experience with them as they get the first look out of the, uh, the window of the spacecraft at the Earth below. And as you really go from being the, the rookie with a big silly grin to being uh, you know, an experienced uh, 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 you know, space operator, and, and as you get into orbit and then really get to work and getting things done, making things happen. You know, None of this is possible, obviously, as we stand on Gagarin's launch pad without the uh, international cooperation that's attached to it. How closely are you watching uh, the U.S. and Russians working side by side, and what does that portend for the future as well? well I think the international cooperation with the 15 nations we have participating in the International uh, Space Station program are really important. It's great as we share our resources from the different countries, our, 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 our skills, uh, and, and our teamwork, our experience comes together to make these kind of things happen. It's important to us now to have the, uh, the Russian Soyuz spacecraft as our way of getting people to and from the International Space Station. And we're working hard on the next commercial crew vehicle, uh, the next NASA vehicle. And we're beginning to have the discussions now on how we're going to be using the, the new vehicle uh, as well as the Soyuz to, uh, to get access, to get crews to and from the space station in the years ahead.